So the Mario vs. DK series has been pretty awesome so far. We had the puzzle platformers on the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance that were both pretty damn awesome, and then the mini-series on DS which had you set up pathways for insanely adorable figurines a la Lemmings, which is pretty good as well. And then we look at the 3DS eShop, which is an absolute haven for great puzzle games, so it was inevitable that a new game would be coming to it, and it's finally here with Mario and Donkey Kong, minis on the move. Yeah, they replaced the versus with an and, what do you know? So in this one, we're dealing with a pipe connecting game instead, and while it's not the most original concept in the world, it's still pretty challenging and plenty fun. So let's stop with all the talking and see what the game has to offer. So instead of just sticking to one style of puzzle that just gets harder over time, there are four different variants of the same formula, which is you have mini figurines walking around on pathways, and you gotta get them safely to the goal and try aiming for the three M tokens that are on your way. And of course, there are a bunch of things trying to get in your path. You have springs, spikes, shy guys, and many more. And one thing that I really like is that you really need to be on your toes, cause you'll actually be required to destroy blocks that you've already set and replace them with new ones, and sometimes try setting up loops to get coins that are above the ground. There's definitely a lot more going for this game than I originally anticipated, which is actually really awesome. You can even get to a bonus game by making figure eights, which is pretty cool, and sometimes even that's required. And of course the music that plays is nice and peppy like you'd expect. A lot of tunes that are familiar from the rest of the series, like a great remix of Peach's Castle, and even a remix of the theme song from Super Mario Bros. 2, which is always welcome. And as far as the four different variants go, firstly there's Mario's main event, where random blocks will come down a line and you gotta create a pathway with what you're given, but only five squares can be on the line at a time, so you need to work pretty fast to make sure your minis get to the goal before the line overflows. That's a really fun one, and then there's the Puzzle Palace, where you're already given all the squares that you need to complete the puzzle, so all you have to do is set the pathway and hope it's correct. So this one is more about the preparation, and personally because of that it's my favorite of the four. Next is Many Mini Mayhem, where you have to get multiple minis to the goal using all the blocks that are already placed on the board by rearranging them to your liking. That's another fun one right there, but last, and the one that kind of makes me want to snap my 3DS in half most of the time, is Giant Jungle, which is just main event on a huge scale, and I suck at it! Here there are 10 stars around the board that you need to get, and the time limit is insanely strict, even with the extra timers that you can pick up. I can't even manage to get through the first one because I just end up panicking about halfway through. Luckily there's only a small handful of these, as opposed to the 60 plus for the other three. You know it's going to be one of those times where I sacrifice a few hours using my blood, sweat, and tears, and then thank the heavens once I finally complete it. I'm sure we've all been there before. But yeah, there are over 180 puzzles to play through overall, which is definitely awesome replay value for a puzzle game. And then outside of the puzzles that are given to you, you can also create your own and share them online. Unfortunately though, you can only create them using the main event rules, so you can't set puzzles with multiple minis in it, or give the player a set handful of blocks to work with. That's kind of a bummer. And I also find it kind of surprising that given how many people trade Pushmo and Crashmo puzzles with QR codes, that they didn't utilize that same feature here. Instead, you just search a database for random, popular, and ones that your friends have made. But still, that pretty much means that this game has limitless replay value. And there are four different minigames that you can play through also that take use of the touchscreen. And they're okay, I guess, they're really just sort of there, they're nothing special. It's obvious that the main appeal for the game are the in-game puzzles, which that alone will definitely last you quite a while. And then if you're the type to create your own puzzles, that's just an awesome bonus. There's just a lot of worthwhile content offered here in general. Mario and Donkey Kong Minis on the Move is $10 on the eShop, and honestly, it's actually one of my favorite games on the server so far. I am a total sucker for puzzle games, so this was right up my alley. Although now that I think about it, as far as I can tell, there's no Mini Luigi in the game. What happened to that whole Year of Luigi thing, huh? Yeah, thanks Owada. Alright, in all seriousness though, this is still a great game on the eShop that I highly recommend you all play, especially if you like puzzles. Now it's time to bring out a Mario vs. DK game in the vein of the Game Boy ones, huh? That's all I ask. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the review, and as always, I'll catch you guys next time.